Robert Shaw with Solar Tech here to talk to you today about energy storage. Start the clock. What is the purpose of energy storage? Rate arbitrage, peak demand shaving, and backup. Rate arbitrage, what is that? Well, it's basically where you buy energy at a cheaper time of day or produce it with your solar panel system. You store it in your battery until the utility wants to charge you peak pricing, and that's when you discharge your battery in order to save yourself money instead of getting that energy from the grid. What is peak demand shaving? Peak demand shaving typically is for commercial customers. They are charged on a different rate structure than the typical homeowner. Uh, not only do they pay for the amount of power that they consume, but they also pay for the amount of energy they require at any given point in time. By storing energy in the battery and discharging it to offset some of that load, they reduce their cost from the utility. Backup, what about backup? Everybody wants to back up their load. They want to back up a lot of things. Whole house backup kind of a dream, not really a thing right now. It is very, very expensive if you want to back up your entire house. However, critical load backup, that is a reasonable practical goal. Essentially, it means that you're gonna back up refrigeration circuits, lighting circuits, communication circuits, maybe your home security system. You're gonna be limited in what you have available to you, but you can back up those loads for several days, depending on the size of your household. What are the limitations of energy storage? Cost. It is expensive. We are in generation one right now. This is a new thing and it comes with that price tag like just like all new things. Storage capacity is limited. Typically speaking, batteries have five to 15 kilowatt hours worth of storage per unit and that's gonna get better. Lifespan, batteries typically are gonna live five to 15 years. Most of them nowadays are warranted for about 10 years. We expect that to get better too as well as we progress through the evolution of the product. Frequently asked questions. Most important, what is SGIP? SGIP stands for Self Generation Incentive Program. It is a rebate available to you from the state of California. It is not guaranteed. It is highly competitive to get that rebate and there is limited funding. So if you want it, you better act now. How does it work? That's a great question, let me show you. Here's your battery, here's your solar panel system. If you have one, you don't need one. This is the utility. Essentially, you can purchase energy from the utility and store it in your battery, or you can take that energy from your solar panel system and store it into your battery. Then, when you're ready for it, when you need it, you take that energy and it goes to your house and it powers your things, your lights, your refrigerator, whatever you want it to power, your PS4. Cool. The biggest question everybody asks, is it worth it? To be honest, the answer is it depends. Right now, if you get that SGIP rebate, yeah, go for it. If you don't get the SGIP rebate, you gotta ask yourself, how much is it worth for me to be the coolest guy on the block with a battery?